It's interview time. Uh, what would you say is the best way to prepare for an iOS slash Swift job interview? Yeah, so I mean, confidence is the big thing here. Um, I guess I can recommend this by like saying like what what not to do. Um, I know oftentimes uh, when people are studying, and, and you know, I've, I have a lot of videos out there talking about very common like uh, iOS questions in job interviews, and and I did this too. So this is from personal experience. I would read articles, read blog posts, watch videos, and I would just regurgitate the talking points. Like, oh, explain to me. Uh, the delegate protocol, the, the uh, communication pattern. I'm like, oh, that's a one-to-one. -one. Okay, notifications observers, one-to-many. I'm just spitting out buzzwords that I've heard from these articles without really like, you know, I mean, you kind of understand them, but uh, the best way is like, yes, learn them like that, but actually get uh, practical practical practice. Is that a thing? Uh, <laughs> practice with them, like build small features, build small projects. Uh, one thing I think people get caught up in is when they try to build these practice apps is I think they need to, or they think it has to be this big, nice app. Like you can literally practice building one screen, you know, take one screen from an app or something like that and make it really, really small, uh, build something you can do in a day or two. Um, but focus on, you know, the delegate pattern or, or closures or, or something you're struggling with because having that practice with actually building it, these questions will be a breeze. You don't even have to think about them, right? When I was just kind of studying the the talking points, I was trying to memorize what I would say when they asked me about optionals, right? But if you actually have used these tons of times, you don't have to memorize anything, like you know it. So uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't treat it like you would study for a school test, like back in the day, reading books, taking notes right. and memorizing, like actually use it. That's going to go a long way. Okay.